Hello YouTube, um, my name is Mets in the House, that's the name of my channel, but um, I'm probably going to go by Jmaster15, which is my gamer tag on Xbox Live, and uh, that's because, I don't know, Mets in the House, I, was, <laughs> I created this channel when I was really, really young, so, I don't know, the name is kind of, I don't know, I still do like the New York Mets, they're my favorite baseball team, but I mean, I feel like the name is outdated because I'm going to be playing Call of Duty mostly, and I don't know, I should just go by the gamer tag. Anyway, now that we've got that cleared up, um, I guess I should tell you, this is the first Call of Duty gameplay I'm recording and putting on YouTube. This is not the first time I've played Call of Duty. <laughs> um, I'm playing Custom COD 4 right now, as you can see. Um, I was just playing it because it was in the disc tray. Um, between my roommate and I, we have every Call of Duty ever made. Besides, like, well, that's actually not true. I, we don't have like 1, 2, and 3, like from Modern Warfare, this one, and onward, we have every single one, and I mean, to be honest, like, if you're putting up, like, COD 3 and stuff like that, I guess it would just be for, like, nostalgic purposes or something, so anyway, um, people don't want to watch it, I don't think, so that's why I'm, I'm just playing this, anyway, um, the gameplay is horrible, I'm not good at Call of Duty at all, don't be expecting, like, triple moabs or anything on Modern Warfare 3, um, so yeah, it was like... The game, yeah, you'll see, it's just at a certain point, it just went so far south, and I was getting pretty pissed off. Uh, I didn't like, I mean, like, getting pr pretty pissed off, like, I'm not screaming and yelling, I'm just like, oh, my gosh, seriously. Anyway, um, I guess I was going to start off by talking about um, how I'm going to run the channel. Um, my mission, my mission is to obviously gain subscribers and viewers, um, but I'm tr mainly trying to do that like in an entirely home, like quote unquote, homegrown basis. So by that, by that, I mean, I'm going to try and make the most creative and the best content, and that is the only way I'm going to gain subscribers and stuff. So by that, I mean I'm going to try and come up with like fun stuff to do on the game and stuff that you can come to my channel and you can only find on my channel. I mean, otherwise. I'm just a cookie cutter commentator, and that's that's really what I want to avoid. I really don't want to just be one of those people out there who just remains stagnant because they just do the same thing everybody else does. No, I want to make like really creative content, and um, you want you I want it to be that you come to my channel because I serve something special for you. <laughs> that sounds a bit weird. Anyway, um, and my next. My next statement to say is that I am going to refrain as much as possible from getting involved in, like, stupid Twitter beefs and stuff like that. Like, Twitter beefs, anything, yeah, Twitter beefs, um, and, like, I'm also going to avoid as much as possible, you know, posting on other, like, big commentators' comment sections, like, to come go to my channel. Don't like, oh, come to my channel, I record Call of Duty just like everybody else in the world. No, I'm not doing that. That is such a bitch maneuver, and I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm also not going to just pick out random people from the comment section and send them, spam them messages about my channel. No, that's not going to happen. What's going to happen is I'm going to gain subscribers because I offer something that no one else offers, and I offer good content. That's how I'm going to gain subscribers and views. That's how it should be. That's how I believe it should be as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically the extent of how I want to run the channel. Um, just, I want it to be so that if I ever do get big, which is not one of my goals, my goal is to create good content. If I don't get big, but I know I'm creating good content, I'll be happy with that. I'm not, I don't need, like, I'm not trying to do this for a job. I don't need to do this for money. I wanted to do this because it looked like fun to me. I saw it, other people doing it, and they're like, why? Well, I watch the big commentators, and it looks like a lot of fun. So I bought myself a capture device, and here I am. I'm commentating, and it's really cool. It really is. I'm, like, watching my gameplay in this little window next to me, and I don't know. It's just cool to be commentating. Um, it's what I wanted to do. So, you know, I'm going to try and come up with creative content for you guys, and hopefully it'll be fun. Um... Actually, something I should mention to you is I'm a big zombie fan, actually. Um, so, this will, this will kind of coincide with a the story of how I got into Call of Duty. Um, we'll talk about that later. Um, Alright, look at that death. I was not pressing the A button, I promise you. But this dude's hopping around like he's the Easter Bunny. And it's October. And he has to, like, go back to his fucking hive or whatever the fuck he was in because I wasn't, I swear, I wasn't pressing A, I'm like, dude, stop, I don't want to die from martyrdom to stop jumping. I was just pressing the sprint button, but he wasn't, he wasn't sprinting, so I don't know what that was about. Anyway, um, 
I'm a big zombie fan, and um, yeah, I I started playing zombies on COD 5, and then I kind of got into the storyline, and then on Black Ops I bought all the maps and stuff, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really like zombies, I really get into the story and everything, so naturally you guys can assume I'm excited for Black Ops 2 zombies as well. And um, I got about three minutes left here, so I think I'll go into the story of how I got into Call of Duty. Um, I started making like the friends I was gonna be friends with for the rest of high school at about eighth grade. Like I met some people that I was basically gonna hang out with at high school. I could tell. And um, what happened was they would um like we would have like big sleepover parties for like a birthday. And uh, what well, they some of them had a lot of them had like the next gen systems, which my mom was not allowing me to buy Call of Duty at that time. She wouldn't even let me have an Xbox 360, so I was pretty I, don't know, I was pretty pissed off about that. But um. Anyway, that's how I got through it. I would go to my friends' houses and I would play, and um, yeah, like we would, uh, everyone would bring their Xbox controllers over. It was so much fun because, like, you know, we set it all up. We get on COD 4. We started off on COD 4 just playing like epic battles on shipment, epic uh, split screen four player battles, just free for all, mess battle to the death. And I was horrible at the game, man. I mean, I don't own the, game, own the game, and everyone else owns the game. So, like, they know what they're doing, and I don't know what I'm doing, but it was still a hell of a lot of fun. I was dying all the time, but, like, I could get some kills here and there, so it was still fun for me. And, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And then COD 5 actually didn't do so many split-screen battles on COD 5. All right, look at that knife fail. Oh, fuck. Anyway, um, uh, on COD 5, yeah, we didn't do too many split-screen battles, but my friend who lives down the street from me, um, he had a PS3, and he that's how I got into Nazi Zombie. Um, he, he invited me over to his house because he found out about the minigame. He's like, oh, dude, this is really, really cool. You should come over and try it with me. And we would play Split Screen and Knock Your Own Toe, and I was like, wow. This is the greatest game I've ever played in my life. And I was addicted from day one. This is where the gameplay starts going south, by the way. Um, anyway. Uh, Rage Spin, too. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I, I love Nazi Zombies. And he, would, um, he was buying the map packs, so, like, the day they would drop... The day the map packs dropped, he would have me over, and we would, I would get to play him on release day. It was so exciting for me. I was thrilled every time. We wrote Shinonuma, Shinonuma. Oh my god, we had the best time. Like, when the, we first set all the Hellhounds, we were fucking terrified. We were, like, screaming, like, oh my god, what do we fucking do? There's Hellhounds after us, oh my god. So that was, oh wow, so many good times with that. Um, and then Doris, of course. And, uh, eventually, like... Um, Black Ops, I'm trying to think about when I got my own Xbox. I got my own Xbox in May of senior year, which was 2012, and then, um, yeah, I bought, like, Black Ops, and I bought all the maps, and I, you know, that I got to finish the story and everything. I might go more in-depth into this right now, because the gameplay's obviously over, so thanks for listening. Sorry I'm a noob about commentating, too. Bye.